Hi everybody, welcome to episode one of Painting with Terry Einer and Einer Arts. Today, we're going to do a whimsical cow painting and uh, try and recreate this. I've started out with a pink, can pri uh, already primed canvas and we're going to just go right in with a brush instead of a pencil um, because it keeps it a little more whimsical and, and not so detailed. I'm using flat brushes for my entire work. And I'm using a craft paint. It's called Delta Kermacoat. And uh, it's real cheap. And um, I love the color and the creaminess of it. I'll leave a supply list for you at the end here. These are acrylic paints. I'm going to start out with the outline. And I'm just kind of putting in the shapes to start. Don't worry that it's still wet. If it smears a little bit, you'll be going right over that. So I'm just going right around that black outline. Right now I'm using a light blue. I'm going to go in a little bit with a dark blue just to add some interest. Maybe a little bit of white. You can see I'm just slapping it around with my brush. A little bit of cloud effect. While I have that blue on my brush, I'll put a little bit of shadow in here. We want to know where the light's coming from. So part will be in light, part will be in shadow. So this is the dark side of your cow. clean my brush and I'm going to do the light sides where the light is coming from so opposite of the dark I just dipped into both colors of my green to have both colors on the brush and kind of blend as I paint. I put in real loose strokes so that it's not just totally smearing it together. You can still kind of see both colors.
And you can see I kind of leave some of the background, that pink kind of peeking through there in places. Now I'm going into the pink, kind of do the ears a little bit, and that blue is still wet, so I'm kind of just dabbing into that. Quick strokes. I'm keeping the lighter pinks on one side where the light's coming from. dark pinks on this side where I want the darker like shadowing You can see I kind of got some of that yellow and blue in there as I did it, but when that dries, it kind of creates a neat effect. So that's why I leave it in there. I'm going to redo my angle here. back into the black and that yellow and blue that I left there I kind of leave some of that peeking through Decided that I had to fix the sky there a little bit by his body, so it's kind of a bad angle there.
Now I gotta give it some personality, gotta give it some eyes. So I'm gonna put some background in here first. I'm looking for a little brush here. Okay, while that's those eyes are drying a little bit I'm gonna go in with my tiny little liner brush and put in some details so I think I'll go over my blacks a little bit maybe give it some detail And then with some white, give it a few highlights. And then back in with my black. A lot of your personality comes from the eyes, so I do try to be a little more careful with the eyes. I'm going to make like a U shape here. Leave some of that white peaking. A little more black than that. Just finish her off here. Maybe some eyelashes. And I think we'll call her done. Thanks for joining me today. <laughs> Don't you forget to subscribe and like and share. Thanks for joining me.